always loved when the new school year comes around. It's like New Year's where there's so much excitement around a fresh start. Even though I'm not ready for summer to end, I wanted to put some DIYs together for you to work on before school starts again. The first project is this no sew pencil pouch. You'll need a small piece of fabric and a zipper. And my piece of fabric is actually a napkin from World Market. And you can definitely sew this, but I know not everyone has a sewing machine, so I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to do with just fabric glue. You'll need to decide how big you want your pencil pouch to be. I decided to use an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper as my template. Once you have your fabric cut out, flip the fabric over so the wrong side is facing up and put some glue on each end and fold it over about a quarter of an inch. Then place your zipper face up in the center of your fabric, add some glue and fold that folded edge over to secure it to the zipper. And you'll do the same thing to the other side. Let that dry completely and then you'll unzip your zipper and turn the fabric inside out. Glue the two side edges together. When the pouch is all dry, you can turn it inside out again, and you're done. As kind of a bonus DIY, I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to customize some pencils to put in your new pencil pouch. You'll need some paint and some pencils. Use some washi tape to tape off the top of the pencil and then you can paint it however you like. There's not really any need for instructions, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I would give you guys this idea if you want to make some cool customized pencils for the school year. The second project is this collaged binder, and to go along with this DIY, I made a free printable if you guys want to use the same images as me. I chose a plain white binder, and then I gathered together some of my favorite pictures of my friends and I, as well as a few other little embellishments. The printable will be linked below if you would like to use it in your project. You'll need to cut a piece of paper to fit inside your binder cover, and I ended up using a piece of scrapbook paper that I found at Michael's. Then you can decorate it however you like. You can collage pictures of your friends and the images from the printable. You can add little drawings or write your favorite quotes. You can add washi tape or sequins. Really just do whatever makes you happy. The last project I have for you guys is how to decorate your notebooks. My favorite notebooks to use for taking notes in school were these Moleskine notebooks because they're small and lightweight and easy to throw in my bag. I decided to make a little stamp to decorate my notebooks with, and it's really easy to do this with just an eraser and an X-Acto knife. I 
I use the same printable as earlier to decorate the covers of my notebooks. So that's it for this video. As always, tag me on Instagram if you try these DIYs out because I would love to see your creations. I hope you got some inspiration even if you're not going back to school. I think all of these projects would be perfect for your work or home office too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.